Welcome back. We've all seen this situation, whether you've seen it in a TV show or movie or maybe in your own life. Okay, so follow me with this. You take a bite of food that someone you know or love worked very hard to make for you. The food doesn't taste all that great. Mm. What do you do? Do you say it? You don't say it, but you don't lie either. You don't lie. Oh, you don't eat it. No. You take, that's the one bite. Yeah, that's it. Fred is a very hard critic. Thankfully, Just I'll honest. never cook for you Just because honest. we know I can't cook. I'll let you know. Okay, ahead of Thanksgiving, there's a new survey out that says one in three people will fake a smile to act like they're enjoying a relative's cooking. I'm not one of those people. You are not one of them. Mm -hmm. But I think that that's actually really low. One in three? Yeah, somebody's lying. Someone's lying, <laughs> right? This survey actually covers a lot of the awkward moments that tend to happen at family gatherings as well. So according to the survey, two in five people say they have forced a smile to pretend that they like a gift. How about you? I think it's more than that. Um, no, it's hard for You me. still won't, even My with a gift? My face will not let me lie. What if it's something that like your child made you that's not that great, but it's the thought that counts? I'll tell them that it was very creative. <laughs> and to do better next year. <laughs> no, I won't tell the do better. Okay, I'm moving on. The survey good. asked questions across several generations. It says nearly all Gen Z members and some millennials say they expect to be asked about the relationship, their prospects, their status, their career. Are you getting married? Are you it's having so kids? It's so personal to be having at the dinner table in front of everybody. And it's like anxiety inducing as someone who gets that question all the time. <laughs> I always say I'm nothing. I'm not getting married. I'm not having kids. I'm actually not even here right now. That's what I usually say, and then well, that's kind of stops. You just disconnect, <laughs> disassociate. Well, I think they know. Don't ask her any more questions. <laughs> so more than half of all adults expect at least one difficult question about their personal lives. So take this as a warning. Mm -hmm. Now is the time. Prepare with what you're going to say. It's like going into a job interview, isn't it? Yeah. You got to be prepared. They're going to make you sweat. One more interesting point from the survey. It says that Gen Z and millennials, they have the lowest threshold for extended family time. <laughs> You know, you're like, hey, honey, we're going to visit the in-laws for five days. That's too much. No, they're saying three out of four, at least, say that they can only last one day with my their loved ones. My top threshold is three days, and it is a well-known fact in my family. Oh, everyone knows. Three days. Well, I think we learned something about you, Fred. Yeah. You cannot keep anything to yourself. I don't like your food. Your gift was not that great, and I got to go. We like to call it honesty. <laughs> yes. We like to call it honesty. Yeah. Well, we like that about yeah. you.